Pero Alamal really represents my journey as a chef. Like from the menu, from dishes that I grew up with, like with braised oxtail, pollo guisado, con arroz habichuela. A lot of dishes I've done in the past from traveling, from learning from other chefs with my own twist, of course. And then a lot of original dishes. Alamal is that neighborhood restaurant that makes you feel like you're always at home in my house, having a good time, having great drinks and food, and being around people that you know. It's crazy. It has a, that feeling of cheers, which is really crazy. Almost like being in, in la sala, in la casa de una familia. Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Carolina Trejos. And up next, we have Chef Nelson Herman, a top chef's fun favorite, born and bred in Manhattan's Washington Heights. Nelson began his incredible career in New York City at the popular seafood destination, Joseph's Citarella, in the Gramercy Park Hotel. After graduating from culinary school, Nelson became an executive chef at prestigious hotspots like Jerry's Cafe in New York and so many more. Then, in 2010, Nelson moved to Northern California where he continued his entrepreneurial journey by opening several more restaurants, including a Bay Area fan favorite seafood place called Alamar. And a tribute to his Dominican roots, the chic Afro-Latino cocktail bar Sobre Mesa, which we get a taste of right here on American Latino TV. Saludo, mi gente. I'm Chef Nelson Helman, uh, over here from New York City, Washington Heights, uh, chef and owner of Alamar Kitchen and Bar and Sobre Mesa Afro Latin Cocktail Bar here in Oakland, California. I was born and raised in New York City, Washington Heights, donde hay mucho dominicano. I uh, lived my life learning from my mom, my grandma, my auntie, como cocinar comida latina, dominicano. I've been out here in California now for 13 years. So kind of repping, I made the move from East Coast to West Coast. But growing up in New York has been amazing. Um, learning deep about my roots, about la cultura, uh, working in amazing restaurants out there. I've been in the business for over 22 years. Traveling the world, uh, learning great things in Spain, in España, in Francia, in Italia. Just learning, absorbing as much as I can and representing my culture. Moving up the ladder and finally have my own place. Like, look how beautiful this place is. Alamal Kitchen and Bar is my first restaurant. After so many years working really hard, uh, moving up the ladder, you know, going through a lot of ups and downs in this business, because there's not a lot of us are there. Actually, there is a lot of Latinos, but we don't get too much representation out in the front or to be the face of the restaurant. So I worked myself up. It was always my dream to open my own place, and I finally made it. Alamal is going to be eight years old in, on May 1st, which is really exciting. It's such, just remembering like the first time we opened, so now it's, it's an actual, kind of dream and, and crazy kind of experience, you know? Pero Alamal really represents my journey as a chef. Like from the menu, from dishes that I grew up with, like the braised oxtail, pollo guisado, con arroz habichuela. A lot of dishes I've done in the past from traveling, from learning from other chefs with my own twist, of course. And then a lot of original dishes. Alamal is that neighborhood restaurant that makes you feel like you're always at home in my house was having a good time, having great drinks and food, and being around people that you know. It's crazy, it has a, that feeling of cheers, which is really crazy, almost like being in, in la sala, in la casa de una familia. Soda Mesa came to be, we're about to hit really two years, but officially one year on March 5th. So I'm really excited to be continuing this journey and telling our story through this. Um, I'm, it's, it's really beautiful. thought I got a top chef during a pandemic, um, doing these closures, but it was an amazing feeling just to get that phone call and I actually realized that it's a reality. And I went on there represented. I wanted to represent Afro-Latinos, Latinx culture to the fullest. Even though I haven't cooked Latinx or Latino cuisine my whole career, but it's the last few years, last five, six years, that I've really, really been digging into my roots and want to represent more. You know, I think it's very important to represent for our beautiful culture and rich history.
What I would tell somebody younger who's aspiring to be a chef is best thing, respect your culture, cook with your heart, learn as much as you can, absorb as much as you can. You can learn from everyone around you. It's not just the, the chef who's, who's around. You can learn from a dishwasher. You can learn from just a regular line cook, prep cook. People who've been in the industry or are just new. You learn from each other. You respect each other's cultures, where they come from. You respect diversity. I think that builds you up more because it keeps you, it keeps you more motivated. It keeps you motivated to keep going because it's a hard business. And that's one thing I always tell anybody who's aspiring to be chef. It's the hardest business there is. There's so much you got to go through. There's so much competition, but you just got to keep going and start just absorbing as much now as you can. But then when you get these chances, just cook with your heart. You know, it's a song, show the fire, the motivation. Uh, just keep moving up the ladder as much as you can. But always know that it's going to be a tough road, a tough journey. Always respect your culture, respect your past. Keep always looking forward and absorb as much knowledge from everyone around you as you can. It will get you a long way. The sazón, the flavor, el amor, that's all it's about.